hello i welcome you to this uh, wonderful channel and here in this video we are looking at the mathematics question paper so this type of uh, question is under sets and it usually comes in paper two so it says in a class of 40 pupils 16 like physics 17 like maths 24 like chemistry and the rest like other subjects not stated so the subjects that uh, have been given here it's uh, physics, mathematics, and the chemistry. So the total number of people in a class is 40. So the total number always, the total number, uh, the total, the total here always, it's supposed to be the universal set E, okay? So five like all three subjects, four like maths and physics only, six like physics and chemistry only, three like mathematics and chemistry only. Illustrate this information on a clearly labeled Venn diagram. So to illustrate this on a clearly labeled Venn diagram, this is what we're going to do. This is our Venn diagram. So we have physics, this will be physics P, and then we have mathematics M, and then we have chemistry, okay? So, the first thing you do here, you always look for the interse intersection of what? Of the three sets, okay? The intersection of the three sets. So the sets are what? Physics, chemistry, and maths. So we're told five like all the three subjects. So this is the intersection for all the three sets. And you begin with this one. So you're going to put five here, okay? And then you go to the intersection for for two sets meaning people that liked it two subjects okay so here you're told four like mathematics and physics only so here the key word to know is the only so once the word only is used you must write the number just as it is okay you must write the number just as it is so we're going to write the four just as it is where in the intersection for mass and what physics so the intersection for mass and physics is this one Physics is this side, mass is this side. So we're going to write the 4 here. Okay, so that is the 4. Okay. And then uh, you go to uh, 6 like physics and chemistry only. Again, they use the word only. So we write the 6 just as it is in physics and chemistry. So physics and chemistry. So the 6 will go here. Okay. And then three like mathematics and chemistry. Again, they use the word only. So we write the three just as it is. Okay. Um, like this. So it comes here. And then we have in a class of 40 people. So now once you are done, it is intersection for the three sets. Intersection for two sets. Now you go to one set. Okay. One set. So one set, we are going to look at physics alone. Eh? So physics alone, there are 16 students of uh, pupils. So physics, there are 16. But remember, we have these numbers here. So here, the tricky part here, they haven't stated the word only. They've just said 16, like what? Physics. So when the word only is not used, when the word only is not used, if it, if it was saying 16 like physics only, we would have gotten this 16 and put it here, like this. If it said 16 like physics only. But since it doesn't say anything like that, we need to subtract these numbers that are already in physics. So this and this, 6 plus 4, that is 10, plus 5, 15. So 16 minus 15 you get what one so you only put one here okay then we go to mathematics these are 17 again they don't use the word only so we must subtract whatever is in mathematics so in mathematics you have uh, this will be 8 plus 4 that is 12 then uh, 17 minus 12 so five will go here, okay. 
and then here they say 24 like chemistry again without using the word only so we subtract whatever is in chemistry so this will be 11 12 13 14 okay so 14 so 24 minus 14 get 10 okay so we're not yet done we must make sure that the elements here the universal we said the total was what 40 isn't it total was 40 we have to ensure that these numbers are adding up to 40 so we're going to add 10 plus 10 what's that 20 plus 10 30 30 34 okay so these numbers when you add them all together they are 34 but the total is 40 so you're going to say 40 minus 34 what do you get six so the six is what will come outside and you are done illustrating the information on the what on a venn diagram okay so we are done with this part which is three marks hence or otherwise find the number of people who like one subject only remember again one subject only so one subject only you are dealing with the, the numbers that are where they are not on the intersection okay so whenever you have this statement, one subject only, you're looking at pew pew z, not on the intersection, okay? Not on the intersection, not on the intersection. So we're looking at those numbers where only in one set, okay? Only in one set. They're not found on the intersection. And which numbers are these? 1 is not on the intersection, 10 is not on the intersection, 5 is not on the intersection. So, the number of people who like one subject only, so we're going to say that one subject only, uh, this is 2, it's what? Uh, 10 plus, 10 is not on the intersection, 5 plus 6, so 5 plus 1, sorry. You get 16. These are not on the intersection. And the other question says the number of viewers who do not like any of the three subjects is very simple. These outside, eh? they did not like any of the three subjects. So, six. And here you have answered. You have answered the question. Okay, here you have answered the question. The two planted sweet potatoes, the seven planted cassava, fourteen planted both maize and sweet potatoes, twenty-four planted both sweet potatoes and cassava, twenty planted both maize and cassava, nine planted all the three crops, and six do not plant any of the crops. So how many crops do we have? We have got maize, we have got sweet potatoes. And we have got cassava so let's make our sets okay so uh, we say universal so we are going to have maize we are going to have sweet potatoes then we're going to have cassava okay now um, remember I said you start with the intersection for what three sets So nine planted all the three crops. So we are going to do this. We put nine here. Okay. And then intersection for two sets. So we look for two sets. So let's go to here. It says 20 planted both maize and cassava. Now here you notice they haven't added the word only. It's different from our previous question. So here they haven't added the word only. Since the word only is not added, we cannot take this 20 and write it in the intersection of what? Maze and cassava. We can't do that. We need to subtract. Uh, we need to do this. Okay. So we're looking at the intersection of what? Uh, maze and cassava. So maze and cassava is this intersection. And we are told that there are how many? 20 planted both maize and cassava 
so now this 20 we cannot put it there as it is we only put a number as it is if they've added the word what only okay so we can't put 20 here we need to subtract 20 minus 9 what do we get we get 11 so 11 goes there okay and then here we go to the next question next statement says 24 planted both maize and sweet potatoes eh? sweet potatoes and cassava so both sweet potatoes and cassava and they were 24 again they haven't added the word only here so maize and uh, i mean sweet potatoes and cassava we are told they are 24 so subtract 9 okay if if they added the word only we don't have subtracted eh? okay So that gives us um, that gives us is it 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, so this gives us five and then now you go to the intersection not intersection so you now go to one set eh? so you are told 37 planted cassava so 37 planted cassava so cassava is this set now in this cassava here you already have 11 15 and 9 okay so this is 26 So that will give us see, 35. So you say 37 minus 35. That gives us a 2. And then you go to 32 planted sweet potatoes. 32 planted sweet potatoes. So in sweet potatoes, this is this is 20 plus 9, 29. And you are told that how many? Uh, 32 okay 32 so 29 so you say uh, 32 minus 29 so you get 3 and we go to maize maize they were what 4 what 4 in maize so maize of 44 now you already have um, 11 plus 9 that is actually twenty twenty-five. so 44 minus 25 This gives us 9, so 19 here. Okay, what else are we told? Okay, 6 did not plant any of the three crops. This is the last statement here. So the 6 will go here. And then now, you need to just add up everything. You add up everything now. So it turns out everything adds up to seventy. So meaning the total number of farmers were 70 and you are done with your uh, venn diagram so how many farmers were at this farming block 70 as a total how many planted maize only so maize only it's these was 19 
planted two different crops two different crops so two different crops are these which are on the intersection for two sets huh? 15 11 and so i say 15 plus 11 plus 5 intersection for two sets 20 plus 11 Okay, so this is more like you're adding 20 plus 11, you get that one, okay, so you get that one. That's how you can answer some of these questions. So the tricky part here is understanding, I think if you understand the word only and what it means, the rest of the questions become very easy, okay.